train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Glam Bodybuilding, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about preacher curls. Mountain. So, one thing I get a lot of times is people will say, Jason, how do I train the biceps as far as how do I make them wider? How do I make them bigger? How do I make the peaks better? You know, all these different types of questions which are not necessarily relevant, right? Because there's a certain amount of muscle shape that you're born with, and then the question just lies, uh, can you make your muscle bigger? That's the whole point. Like, if you can make the muscle bigger, then it will develop the way it develops. Now, I'm not saying there aren't individual muscles that you can accentuate, such as the brachii or the brachialis, which crosses the elbow right here, you know? Did I do that right? Can you see me? Yeah, okay, right there. That's where, that's where it crosses the elbow. So basically, these muscles you can work for sure. So using different angles, different types of grip, different types of positions, whether it's cable or barbell as well, you know, the tension, sometimes the different types of tension can hit one area a little bit more than another. Uh, and it might be different for one person to the next. So don't think that one size fits all when it comes to this stuff either, right? So one thing people do is that they use preacher curls. Today we're going to worship at the almighty preacher curl. Okay, not that type of preacher. Different preacher. Different type of preacher, you know what I'm saying? They use preacher curls to hit the brachialis here, the muscle that crosses the elbow but doesn't necessarily cross the shoulder. So it's not this muscle, it's more the muscle closer to the forearm. So a lot of times you will get a combination of both muscles or, or different muscles at the same time that are being recruited. Of course you will get that. It's not like you'll just isolate one individual muscle, especially when there is more than one arm flexor at work, right? There's a number of different muscles that flex the elbow. But in the end, some exercises will produce better results than others and some exercises are more risky than others. And I would say the preacher curl has some benefit to it. Like I have done preacher curls and I do them here and there, but I usually will use them in a light sort of capacity. I will not do heavy weight with preacher curls. And I've seen guys do super heavy weight and then develop elbow problems or in a worst case scenario, tear the bicep, right? So when it comes down to preacher curl, because all the tension is, is like the lockout position, it's like jujitsu, you know, it's, it's almost close to that lockout. A couple of mistakes you can make when you're doing preacher is to come down too low where you're actually locking that elbow out and jamming it. Uh, the other thing is to use too heavy a weight. And the other one is to use too shallow of an angle. So basically imagine your elbow is out like this and basically the tension is like this. Sometimes it's better to have more of an angle where the elbow is down. So that way it's not quite so extreme of an angle that's threatening to hyperextend the elbow. And one thing I will say with preacher curls is that they can be good for getting a burnout, but I would recommend not doing super heavy weight with preacher curls for most people. I think most people, it will injure them. And at the same time, are you really getting a massive result from them? Like, are you really getting a benefit that's worth the risk of the injury? So long story short, stay a little bit lighter if you're going to be doing free weight preacher curls. Now, if you're going to be doing a cable, that's a different sort of circumstance because now the tension is moving in a different angle. It's not moving straight up and down. A lot of times you can have the tension moving straight outwards like this. So when you're in the loco position, the weight's not threatening to hyperextend the elbow. So a cable can be more safe or safer than a barbell in that case. And at the same time, you know, if you want the big round peaks, then you know, you're gonna have to work the brachii more than the brachialis. So the brachialis is great for adding overall mass to the arm. And yeah, maybe it will help give you that illusion of a wider sort of arm, but you can also do hammer curls for that. You don't have to do preacher curls all the time. So yeah, you mix it up. I mean, the thing is, is that I like to do movements which aren't spelling and pending doom for me. And of course you need to do heavyweight and lightweight, but when it comes down to preachers, I would highly recommend, first of all, keeping the arm slightly bent and avoiding heavyweight, such as five to eight rep sets with those types of exercises. Stay in the 20 rep, 30 rep, 40 rep range. That's probably a better strategy when it comes down to using preacher curls in your training. So yeah, I hope I've prevented an impending disaster for you, but at the same time, gave you some advice where you can you know, work this side of the arm. You can work this part of the arm by doing some hammer curls or reverse grip barbell curls. You know, you can do it without, you know, threatening your life or impending disaster. All right, I hope this helps you in your training. Mountain. I always feel like there's something behind me. There's always, there's something behind me. You guys didn't see anything behind me, right? Did you see anything behind me when I was talking?
It's a possibility my cameraman's buried back there. Don't ask me how I know. Don't, don't ask me how I know, because, you know, I just, I just happen to know. I'm, I'm very intuitive. It's an intuitive thing. And it's a total coincidence that he called me fat in the last video, or a few videos ago. It's, it's a total coincidence. So it's like, like the two events are not, not related. The fact that he's buried back there. Just somebody told me.